What's up my beautiful entrepreneurs? I did an experiment where I posted carousels for seven days straight and you will not believe the results. Now we are all trying to grow our businesses online and social media can be a real pain in the from us just overthinking and not knowing exactly what to post and just being worried about people liking the content or not liking the content it's just a real big game that we're all trying to figure out and when posting all the carousels i had to really sit back and think to myself okay what is it that i like to see when i see advertisement and i really want you to just sit back maybe close your eyes and just think about what is it that you like to see when you're on social media? What makes you double tap? What makes you comment? What makes you share it to your friends and to your family? Like what makes you interact with the posts that you see? And use that as a way to make your your posts. And so I had to really think about what it is that I, I liked and I went back and looked through and I realized that I really like to see more detail of what people um, of what people are making, what are in the products or how the product works in general. So I started to use that as my carousel post ideas, talking about um, the ingredients that I use or talking about having a skincare routine, what the importance of that is and creating the carousel post based off of that. And what I realized is that people also like that as well because they were more interactive with those posts to see, okay, why do we use coconut oil or what's so intriguing about that or um, what do I need a skin routine for because a lot of people don't think that that is important. So highlighting those key things and not just talking about the product in general, but just talking about key factors is what really was drawing people more into my page. When you're making a carousel, you really want to make it a journey that you're taking your audience on. It should be something that they are learning as they go through. And on the first page, it should really be a great hook that gets them in to actually want to read throughout the rest of the carousel. So on the first page, it shouldn't be something as simple as five reasons why um, you're skin has acne or five reasons why you really need to use coconut oil making it something witty or something that's controversial or something that's a lie that you're turning into the truth throughout the carousel like for example i had a carousel that i titled greasy food is the reason for your body acne and then i paved that in and talked about how greasy food actually has nothing to do with your with body acne and going into the reasons why you actually do have bad acne so you want to flow it in but something that people aren't expecting to see and just by them not expecting that, then they're going to keep looking because they're intrigued. Now on your second slide, this is your opportunity to hook the audience again. And on Instagram, if someone slides, you know, goes through and passes your carousel, Instagram will show them the carousel again, but they'll show it to them on the second page. And so this is your opportunity to hook them in again, whether that is re reaffirming what you put on the first page, um, stating that you were joking by what was on the first page, or just hooking them in a little bit more to get them to continue to go through the carousel so for example with the greasy food um, carousel I jumped in and said how now you know that's all cap to get them to see okay so she's just joking or let me see what she has to say so they're gonna keep uh, going through the rest of the carousel now when you're making your carousels in the body of your carousels you want it to be something that's engaging you want it to be snappy witty and when i was first making my carousels they were super long they were drawn out i wasn't even using like all 10 slides um and it's just really boring it's like a powerpoint presentation and i know when we were all in school no one liked a powerpoint presentation unless you were one of those people I know I was not. So it had to be something that was witty and something that was, you know, fun to keep people engaged. So what I would do was in between slides, I may like ask a question or something that would lead into the next part of the carousel. Like for example, I was saying, oh, well, you know, um, they say that shea butter is great for your hair as well. Is that true? And then the next, the next slide, I would talk more in detail about how it's great for your hair. And then also using like, bitmojis like i don't know if you guys use that at all but 
I just literally went online, signed up for that, and like made a Bitmoji that looked like myself, and then used like cool little uh, Bitmojis in places throughout the carousel to um, just make it look different. Also add some like jokes or you know something like that in between the carousels to keep people more engaged. Merely educating is just not enough. Like you have to add some type of entertainment and like think about like anything that you've watched. Like having that little comedic relief makes it a little bit more enjoyable. What is it that you like? Like what do you like to have a little bit of comedic relief? Do you like to do something like a little sassy or a little sarcastic? Like think about those things and how you would like normally have a conversation and put that throughout the carousel. Listen, and we all know that the algorithm can either be the heavenly angel or the devil's playmate. And one thing I noticed was when I posted those carousels for seven days straight, my reach increased by 65% and my um, engagement went up 78%. And you guys, the only change I really made that week was doing the carousels for seven days straight. So imagine if you were to just add carousels to your post, um, you know, throughout the week, how much your engagement can, can go up just from carousels alone. So Instagram is not only led by only reels or only still posts, you gotta throw some carousels in there to really boost that engagement. In your carousels, swipeability is super important. This encourages the audience to actually swipe through your carousel. And you don't wanna just say swipe at the bottom of the carousel. Try and uh, try and use different elements um, that they have on Canva. On Canva, they have different elements that you, that you can use that say swipe, or you can use an actual hand to, for swiping, um, you know, like anything like that. And I actually like this element that I found where it's a hand that's swiping to the left and you can kind of shadow the hands to make it look like someone's actually swiping and you can do that as a cool effect. I'll have it linked down below to be able to use Canva because Canva is really great when it comes to making your carousels and they have really cool elements that you can use throughout to really make your post more engaging and more exciting. So definitely click the link down below if you don't already use Canva. You always have a reason for your carousel. Whether it is you're trying to get more engagement, you're trying to get more reach, you're trying to sell, or you're trying to um, build your community up more. And this falls right into your call to action because each call of action should go directly into each of those categories. Your call to action shouldn't just be like or comment or share. It should be linked to the why of your carousel. So if you're looking for more engagement, tell them to follow for more tips. Um, if you're sharing a tip and you're wanting to grow sales, um, talk about, you know, comment down below what tip surprised you the most, what tip did you like the best, what tip are you going to use this weekend, uh, tag a friend that you know needs this information about a skincare routine, something that is guiding them to do exactly what it is that you need them to do for that particular post. And it, it you know increases more engagement and you have more people that are interacting with your post. So we know that it's really hard to even make carousels, but I got you. Click on this video here to learn how to make seamless carousels from start to finish so that you can start making them for your audience.